terms of the Arab Spring, that sort of happened towards the end of my high school career. And at that time, it taught me how much media can shape your view on, you know, p politics, especially world politics. Um, I, we were, everyone was like, yeah, democracy, yeah, you know, support them and stuff. But those events really were the aftermath of a lot of, you know, Western intervention into the Middle Eastern countries and sort of the collapse of any form of stable government there. And when we were sort of egging them on, we, you know, they were left, once they overthrew their governments, they were left without anything to build off of, creating this sort of vacuum and um, allowing, making themselves vulnerable to people who hands power should not be placed into taking over that power. And you see the aftermath of that today with the refugee crises, uh, with a bunch of different extremism and stuff. And uh, I think that we may think that we're separate from global politics, but we're really not. And it does affect us more so than we think. Um, and so I think that event really taught me not to underestimate the significance of what's going on around in the world and to know where your tax dollars are going and to know, you know, how, what you are going to choose to support and what you're going to choose to advocate against. 